Check one body, you already know what's going on. I just jumped out of port with dirty blood, the EA way. Yeah. You can say they want me dead, but I can't let them kill me. End up the paralyzed, told me that he still feel me. I got a death fan. All right, so we got catch one body off the porch with us today. Yo. How you feeling today, man? It's good. It's good. Yeah. Appreciate you coming by, man. For sure. Um, visit us from Athens. What do you got working here in Atlanta? Man, not much in there, man. Shit, I just really be got down, you know, staying in my lane, staying consistent, you know. It'll spill over. I got a couple people in Atlanta fucking with, you know. Yeah. So what was it like growing up uh, in the east side of Athens? Shit, really like every other hood. Shit, it is what you make it, you feel me? You can get into some street shit, you feel me? Or you can get into some legit shit. It's just whatever you want to get into, you feel me? Just like every other hood, really, you feel me? Yeah. How does the east side of the city compare to the rest of the city, though? Shit, just different, you feel me? Just like, shit kind of like Atlanta, but like, like east side, like, this shit just more like savvy, you feel me? It more like, it more slum. It got like more of a slum feel, you feel me? Opposed to the west side, but you know, on the EA gut. Yeah. Um, so how old were you when you first jumped off the porch? Shit. It really depends on God, you know, what you consider jumping out of the port, you know what I'm saying? Based on catching the first charge or hopping in the street, but like, I'd say I probably hopped out of the port by like 15, 14, started getting into bullshit. Yeah. And you call your first charge, but you're still in high school, right? I actually caught my first charge. I was in elementary school. I think oh. I caught my first charge, like in the fifth grade, and bullshitting around, breaking <laughs> in houses. And just, I even don't know stealing shit, though, Jay, like some bullshit, bro. Just breaking the inner, tearing up shit type shit. You yeah. Yeah. And you ended up going to college, right? Yeah, yeah. Where'd you I ain't go? I've no dumb nigga. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I've been in the street where I got, I got sent. You feel me? I ain't no dumb ass nigga. I graduated high school. Shit, I went to college and everything. Where'd you go to school at? College? I went to University of West Georgia. Okay. Mm -hmm. What were you studying there? Man, like, you know, you go to college and shit, like, you pick your goddamn, your major and shit, but you don't get into this shit really, like, two, three years. So, like, I went for biology and shit, because I like dogs and shit. Like, I wanted mm -hmm. to be a vet, but, like, I just said, fuck this shit. I had a kid. That shit wasn't really paying me, you feel me? So, like, I just took another route. Yeah. How much school did you do before you dropped out? I said I did, but like, I did like about two years, two and a half years, and I had my little girl. Hmm. And I was just like, fuck this shit. You feel me? Any plans to go back? I don't know. I, I really want to go back. Like, you feel me? Like, I always want to finish. I don't like finishing shit. I don't like starting shit and not finishing You feel me? Like, I'll probably go back, but I'll change my major. Like, I want to learn like another language or some shit like that. Huh. Yeah. Foreign language type shit. What language would you study? Probably like Spanish, you feel me? Because it's just like next to like English. So. Yeah. So what was one of the biggest life lessons you learned while being out in the streets? It's a lot of them. You know, probably just like just staying silent to yourself, you feel me? I see a lot of niggas get tricked out of the street, you feel me? Trying to like be somebody else or like fuck with people that I don't really fuck with, you feel me? Like I just stay solid with, you know what I'm saying, what I got going on. Yeah. So I just stay down, you feel me? Like. They're like the main thing, you feel me? And like, just don't be a follower, you feel me? You can follow a nigga into a life scene, you feel me? I'll just be chilling. Real shit right there. Yeah, uh, yeah. So how long you been making music now? Mm, like four years, really. Like, I always liked the music, though. Like, when I was little and shit, like, like, my first memory of me, like, rapping, like, Goody Mob type shit when I was, like, three, you feel me? Like, Soul Food, like, Goody Mob, my favorite song, like, when I was little. But... Like, just doing the music, probably like three years, you feel me? Like, three, four years type shit. Yeah. What well, that motivated you to start taking this serious about three years ago? I mean, shit, I really was just on some bullshit. Like, I was in college, like you just said, I was fucking around. Like, I knew I was finna stop going to school, and like, one of my partners had a laptop type shit. So I was just like, let me make some song type shit, you feel me? Like, like I made my first mid take like ten dollars a song type shit. I did like love song for like one hundred and ten dollars or some shit like that, one hundred and twenty dollars. And like I had took the shit to my daddy, you feel me? And then I had played it for my daddy. And when my daddy heard it, he was like, "Boy, this shit fire! You need to got down whoop whoop whoop." But I was just on some shit like I was bored. But like once I seen people really were fucking with it and like I had potential, like a following, then like I really just took that shit serious, you feel me? But I ain't planning on being a rapper or no shit like that. 
So was your family and friends, were they surprised when you started rapping while in college? I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say surprise. Like, me and all my partners and shit, like, we used to freestyle and shit when we bored, like, you know what I'm saying, rapping in school and the hallway and shit. But, you know, once I started taking it serious, they just followed suit, you feel me? You know, like, I got the power and influence, too, you know. A lot of shit don't really be about, like, music. You got people following you and shit. You can make music. They're going to follow whatever. Like, I can rap. I can sell clothes. I can do whatever. People going to follow. You feel me? I just choose to do music because I'm good at this shit. Yeah. So how'd you get your rap name? Uh, a lot of folks add me that shit. Like, my name ain't Kit One Body, you feel me? But like, they hold it. hold it. My name ain't Kit One Body, but like, my name always been like Body, like from birth, you feel me? Like, Kit One Jail with like some rapping shit. Like, like I said, once I did my first CD, I took it to my daddy. He would like it fire. He took it to my cousin. He had some shit going on. Shout out to Kit One Gusto. He was just like, well, we finna just put Kit One on the front of your name. You feel me? Like, I always been baldy from birth, though. Like, I was born bald-headed. You feel me? So, like, my <laughs> mama- Not bald anymore, though. Nah, I ain't bald anymore. But, like, <laughs> my mama gave me the nickname Baldy. So, that always been my name. Like, I just put Kit One on the front on some rapper shit. Yeah. Um, so, how's your transition been going from the streets into music full-time now? It's great. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to, like, stay positive. You feel me? Just get out the street, you feel me? Like, just do music. I feel like I can make money in this shit. You can make money in the street. I can make more money in this shit, you feel me? So it's just like, I'd rather do this, you know what I'm saying, than to do that. Like, I done did everything a nigga in the street can do. I done did everything in the street a nigga can rap about, you feel me? So like, I'm just living this shit and really just rapping this shit, you know, you feel me? So like, I'm all the way in, like, here for it, like, with the music shit. What's your thoughts on the rap game so far, though, since you've been in it? Man, shit, it cool. I mean, I ain't, I ain't in it like that. I'm trying to get in it so I can learn a little more. You feel me? Like, it, it cool, you know. Meet up with some real niggas. Yeah. All right, so how'd you link up with Marlo at first? Shit, really, like, Marlo has some shit going on with, like, the religion and shit that he believe in. You know, I got people that believe in that same type shit. You feel me? So, like, my family, a couple of my family members, they into that shit. You feel me? So, like, they had it set up with like, hey, I know Marlo, let get y'all a song together, woo 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 So it worked out that way, you feel me? And I met him, you know what I'm saying? He a cool lad nigga. And we did the song, you know what I'm saying? It was what it was, great song. I actually got light skin Keisha on that motherfucker too, but like, I ain't never dropped the song though. Hmm. I ain't never dropped the song though. Plan to drop it or are you going to hold on to it now? I don't know. Like at first, I wanted to drop it, but it's just like, you know what I'm saying, Marlo Pad, a nigga really don't want to drop it, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't really on no clout chasing shit, you feel me? Like, so I done had the song like a year or so, you know what I'm saying? So, for us to be like, oh, he trying to drop the tape now, you feel me? Because, you know what I'm saying, rest in peace, he pad, you feel me? But I ain't on no clout chasing shit. So, I might just keep it, you feel me? I might just keep it and got down, just listen to it myself, something on the value. You don't want no more. You don't want the money. <laughs> <laughs> so what was your reaction when you heard Marlo had passed away then? That shit really like that shit really had me drunk, bro. Cause it just like I felt like Marlo was a type nigga in the city where like people really wouldn't touch him, you feel me? Like, but it just let me know anybody could be touched. You feel me? Anybody, like, you know, so it made me like move different, you feel me? Cause I got a lot of enemies in my city, you feel me? And I wouldn't want nobody to keep me lacking, you feel me? Or like, and I always had like a problem feeling like a nigga can't do that to me. A nigga can't do that to me. A nigga won't do that to me. A nigga won't do that to me. You know, so for a nigga like Marlo to get took out, it just made me realize, like, anybody can get took out. You feel me? So, like, I just be more cautious, bro. Yeah. Long live Marlo, man. For sure. All right. Talk to us about this incident where, where you got into a shooting when someone tried to rob you. Yeah, man. Like, unfortunately, you know, you know how this shit go, like. Nigga try to take something from you, but you got to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? It's an unfortunate situation. Like, nigga really don't want to speak on that shit like that because at the end of the day, it's sad. You feel me? Like, nigga die. You feel me? Like, and you know, he got a mama. He got kids and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got kids and shit. You feel me? So, like, it's an unfortunate situation, but I had to do what I had to do. You know what I'm saying? To make it out and make it back to my two kids. You feel me? So, like, I ain't really worried about that shit, man. You know, it part of the street. You feel me? Was that back home in Athens? Hell yeah, yeah, last year. Any plans to move out of Athens with everything that's going on out there? Like, I'd probably move out of Athens, like, not on no scary shit, just on some smart shit, you feel me? Like, like I always come back to my hood, like, Thumper L, Clark Grant, Eastside Spring, Valley, Nelly B, all this shit, like, 
I'm going to always be in my hood. I'm always going to try to do something positive for the community. But if I just stand up, like the hatred, you know what I'm saying, being so high, I probably wouldn't like just live out there. You feel me? Like, I just come back when the right time. You feel me? Yeah. I got some positive shit going on. I'll come back. But just fucking off out there and just put myself in a position to be compromised. Like, nah, I ain't really out there like that. Yeah. Kind of feel like you just outgrown the city at this point? I wouldn't necessarily say outgrown, you know, because I don't want to be on a like highway shit. Like, I love my city. They love me too. You know what I'm saying? But it's about being smart. You feel me? So it's just like, I just know how I got to move now. You feel me? And so it's just on some shit like that, really. Yeah. And your house ended up getting shot up right after that yeah, yeah. robbery, right? Yeah, yeah, two times. My house got shot up like a week after that. And then, like, I just got out of jail like March. Like March 23rd or some shit, shot my first day out video, fresh out the can, I shot that motherfucker, that motherfucker going stupid. Nigga shot my house up like two, three days after that too. All right, so hmm. like, niggas just be on some hating shit, bro. I just can't, I can't put myself in a position to be compromised. Got two kids, you feel me? So has all this made you want to focus more on the music? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Cause it money in this shit, you feel me? Like, nigga that made street money, like, Nigga just ain't made no million dollar rap money. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather make a million out of goddamn out of the rap than to make a million in the truck. You feel me? Like, it's just more like cleaner. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gotta worry about no police and shit like that. Yeah. So um what's the music scene like in Athens right now? I mean, it's thriving, but like ain't nobody really just part like that from Athens. You feel me? Like Niggas be rapping this shit, you know, we have people on their way, but ain't nobody really just took it to the next level, you know what I'm saying? But like, I fuck with everybody in Athens who making music, though, you know what I'm saying? I'm probably going to Hardy right now, though, you feel me? I mean, I got my partner, EA Black, you feel me? I got got now a beat help you know what I'm saying? All my EA, bro, we got shit going on, so it going to be on the way regardless, like, you going to see about this shit. Do you get a lot of support in your city, too? Hell yeah, for sure, for sure. I get hella support, like, they love me down, though, you feel me, like. EA God, they love me, bro. <laughs> What's going to take to get that spotlight shined on the talent out there in Athens? Shit, really, just you know, people coming together, nigga, not being on no hating shit. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody like supporting each other type shit. You feel me? Like just gonna take one person up. You know what I'm saying? Open the floodgate. Hopefully, I be that nigga. You feel me? Like, but I ain't tripping. If it be another nigga, you feel me? I know I'm in line. I'm right up. You feel me? So if another nigga blow, I'm next to go. So I don't really matter. I support everybody who's doing something in my city. So what's your definition of GOAT? Um, I mean, most people be on, like, some greatest of all time shit. It's, it's a lot of being in the middle. Like, you know, greatest of all time, you feel me? I'm from Ad, you know, gods, us, and tries, a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like I'm the GOAT, bro. You feel me? Like, but he ain't on no cocky shit. You feel me? Like I said, it more like some humble shit. You feel me? Like, I just feel like I'm good at what I do. You feel me? But you know, everybody say they the goat, no? All right, what can you tell us about that single, Fresh Out the Can? Mm, shit. My first song, you know, like, most niggas get out of jail, they'll be on some shit, like, for a day out type shit. I just felt like I was fresh out the can, you feel me? Nigga been in the can, nigga been confined, so, you know, a nigga just went hard, you feel me? I stood out strong, you know? You know, people gravitated to that type shit. First song, got to jail, so they did, no? Yeah. Was that a song you had written while you were locked up? Nah, well, I actually did write like a version, like when I was in jail. Like I wrote a fresh out the can when I was in jail, but when I got out, I didn't record that version. I just recorded a new version, you know what I'm saying? I just use music in jail, writing music just to keep my mind jogging, but I ain't recording that. Though. Shut up, man. I ain't record shit, though. I was just chilling. All right, so what can you tell us about this new song and video, uh, Take It Back, that's about to drop? Um, actually got now I'm taking back actually out right now, you feel me? I shot a video to it, you know, it's just a promotion, the first song on my mid tape, Black Baby 2, you know what I'm saying? And it's just a good song, it's a vibe, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm talking about the shit I done been through and like, you know, once a nigga cross you, you feel me? It, just, it ain't no taking back, you feel me? I don't even cross the lot, so it's just like shit, you know, taking back. And like, I'm fucking with the song, you feel me? A lot of my fans fucking with the song, so I just felt like it was on the right. What can you tell us about that new project, Black Baby 2? Probably like, probably one of my big projects to this day, you feel me? I feel like it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I put like everything I done been through in these last year, 
from from the robbery to the other incident to like beefing with niggas. Like I just compacted this shit in like all one project. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't no rap cap. You feel me? If you listen to it, you don't know like okay, that nigga did that shit, what he said, or he been through that shit, what he said, like, and people from my city, they gonna know that, so, like, once the story get out, people just gravitate to that shit, because they ain't no cap in the rap, you feel me? Yeah. Who are some of the producers you've been working with for this new project? I mean, truth be told, I've been fucking with a lot of niggas, like, when I got out of jail, I still was on some, like, amateur YouTube shit, so I kind of fucking with King Wonka and like a couple of like YouTube people, but like now I'm locked in with my boy Too Heavy. Y'all follow him on Instagram at Too Heavy. You feel me? Like me and him got a whole project that just came out and it actually called Catch One Heavy. I dropped it a little EP afterwards, so I'm gonna get this shit too. Any features on this project? Nah, actually I ain't do no features on this project. You feel me? I ain't do no feature you cause like. You know, sometimes you can lose your fans and shit trying to do like collab projects or features and shit. A lot of times they just be want to hear you. Now I want to hear you and another nigga on five different songs. They just want to see what you got to talk about. So I did Cat One Having with no feature. All right. All right. So what else you got coming up? Got a new project? What else? I mean, for the most part right now, we just dropping singles and hella videos, you know, but toward the end of the year, like, and like the end of the year, beginning of the year, like, my next shit gonna be called EA God, you feel me? Cause I am the EA God, you feel me? EA God, you feel me? So like, that what we working on right now. Yeah. All right. Any shout outs before we wrap this up? Nah, shout out to Cat One Gusto, shout out to Two Heaven, shout out to Quay, shout out to EA Black, man. You know, Big Hector, any East Side shit going on, I'm behind this shit, man. You already know what the fuck going on. Niggas say they want me dead, but I can't let them kill me. A nigga paralyzed told me that he still feel me. I got a deaf fan who told me that he still hear me. A blind.